Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Dust and Elysian Tale in the last part. I opened the box. That was a bad idea because it is killing me right now. And I should not jump. Although it doesn't matter. You will get sent flying. No matter what you really do, I think doing that side hop thingy does not get you hit. So I'm going to be using that a little bit more. Uh, so, what we got to do? We have to go and kill ourselves. Yep. Just go and kill ourselves. We could go to the Sorrowing Metal Meadow. That would actually kill us really easy. But I'm going to just go to Abudis. And we are going to get hit by the Bloms there. Because I think that would be fast. Actually, Abudis is not where the Bloms are. Ah, uh, so let's just get hit. Did I actually kill him with... Oh, they're hitting each other. I was like, am I auto-attacking? That was weird. I like how when I get hit, there's like dust flying off me. It's a good touch. Because of my name. And for other reasons that we'll learn later. Uh, but yeah, just kill myself. We will not actually get a game over. We will just keep hitting ourselves. Oh no, I do not want to actually get hit into the thing and heal me. Because that would be bad. All right, come on. We're almost there, and dead. Boom. Did that do it? Are you okay now? I think so. Yeah. Yes. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. All right. So we get full healed. And that is the what's in the box quest, basically. We'll be just turning it in, and then we'll be done. Uh, but I like how there was a twist on that quest. Just when you thought the guy was just crazy, he was actually telling the truth. Or you are very sensitive to placebo effect. Uh, whatever is the case, we are now free of placebo. Uh, let's see, do we have anything Welcome to sell real quick? I have not checked to see if we sold anything in a while. Switch to sell mode. Uh, Troke. Shell. Squirt eye bug. Hound's teeth. We actually, we'll need more of those in a bit. Confirm that. Uh, okay, cool. Sold everything we need right now. See you later. Thanks for calling me rich, by the way. I do have quite a bit more money than I should have right now. I didn't even realize how much money I have. That's interesting. All right. Reed, I got rid of it. You were right, Reed. Somehow that killing blow managed to shake the presence free. I'm back to my normal self again. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway, I was planning on using this revival stone on you if my plan didn't work, but it should still serve as an adequate reward. If it didn't work? Wait, what do you mean if your plan didn't <laughs> work? Well, it did, didn't it? So, now I have no use for this revival stone, and you can take it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. Definitely. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpod had the common sense not to open it. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? Trees themselves <laughs> whisper an ancient song. Someone Listen to dust. Chop them all down to silence their lies. Goodbye, Reed. <laughs> it's like I am not doing this anymore. Um. Okay. So what shall we do? Three trolk. We need one more trolk finger. So I'm actually just gonna buy it from the shop, and then we will actually be able to buy one more thing. And finish another quest down there. So let's, uh, since we do have the money, I have the. Uh, da da da. Trolk fingers. I think we only need one more, but I'm gonna buy two just to be sure. Hound teeth. I'm really not sure. Why can I not buy any more? Do we only have one in the shop? Oh, he only has one in the shop. Uh, because the stores haven't you updated yet. That's right. Welcome back. Uh, what? Oh, I must have accidentally hit up. Alright, yeah, so we got enough for Trolk Vengeance. 
Now, we don't have enough for the other quest, but we'll be able to do that later when the shops restock. Which, I'm not sure what the timer is for shops respawning. Uh, can we just do it from here? Yeah, we can. I always forget about the fact that we can enter it from the side. I always look for mud pot. All right, head down here, talk to Mr. Hit and Stick. Here you go, Blop. Four Blop. Troll fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. That's assuming I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Piano. You what? Since you're in the hunting mood. Maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one He obviously I has more than one. Just look at his mouth. Adventures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. <laughs> All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. So, we of course get the teeth by killing those teeth monsters in the caverns, but the teeth are actually pretty rare. As you saw, I only had one the entire time we've done anything in the caverns, so they're kind of not great for grinding. Uh, but later we do have to come back, and we can just get it then. Unfortunately, I think I'm a little bit under-leveled. Those guys. Those guys drop it. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and head to the Sorrowing Meadow. Meadow. And like I said, this is where the difficulty kind of ramps up. Especially with one character if you are not ready for him. Uh, we still need one more upgrade for that. So let's just go ahead and head to the Sorrowing Meadow. Chapter 3. Love. And no, it's not going to be between dust and fidget sickos. Alright. So what do we have? Ooh. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. Oh, hello. Well, I don't believe it. Dust? Dust, is that you, What's up, Augustin? Augustin? Oh, what are you doing all the way out here? Why, I'm heeding the call of grand adventure. Sounds about right. To seek my fortune in the wilds of this great untamed wilderness. Actually, Cora asked me to show her the way to some old meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow. Right, that's it. Never was straight with names and faces. Faces? And words. Wait a minute. C Did Cora. Did you see why she wanted to come here? Wasn't that crazy that old Cora? Pretty bleak. No, she is crazy, she so. She asked me to show her the way. As soon as she wandered into the meadow, this crazy magic barrier showed up. Right in convenience, that is. <laughs> Looks like we're not getting Coincidence, more like it. You say Cora just wandered off into the meadow? She may not look it, but she's a speedy little bugger. Right. Well, we'd better go look for her. This meadow isn't safe. Augustin, if you're not going to go back to Aurora, you'd better wait here. Way ahead of you, mate. I wait around better than anyone. Good luck out there. Yeah. He's a professional waiter. And not the kind with food. So, based on... What's around us? Can you guess what enemies we'll be fighting here? Or at least the normal enemies. The Sorrowing Meadow. Yeah, if you guess zombies, you're right. Because what game would not be complete without zombies? No game, by the way. That's the answer. Uh, so, as far as basic enemies go, they're also the most powerful basic enemies we have to fight but there's one enemy in particular that we will definitely have to be careful with and it's not even really have to be too careful with it just if you don't if you're just taking this game as a typical hack and slash you probably are wondering why they're gonna take so long to kill but you, you'll see you'll see Alright, th these guys explode as well, so you get close to them, get away. That's not the enemy I was talking about. 
Those are actually really easy unless you're just not paying attention, in which case they can fuck you up pretty good. Oh, and we have these guys. Those guys are no problem. Just little ant bug thingies. Also, the music here is really good. There's a, a vine spiky thingy there. Alright, so these... These things will actually keep spawning unless you take out the hive, so. And when you actually kill the hive, more will spawn. So, if you could technically farm here, but uh, don't really need to do too much farming. Ah. I don't think we have anything that we can make right now. Uh. Blueprints. Let's see, what do we have? Can't make it. Can make it, but I don't know if it's better than what we already have. Might as well see. Uh, armor. Nope. Ring. Definitely not. Yeah, so we can't really make anything. Let's make sure that we're properly up to date with our... Next time we get to a shop, I'm definitely going to have to check out what they have. Uh, because I think we are a little bit under-equipped. Maybe, maybe not. Decently equipped, actually. Ah! Oh. There's more zombies. And bugs. Uh not quite sure how they uh, relate to each other. I guess bugs do infest zombies. And I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna start outgrowing the uh, wall chicken. Uh, where'd my mini map go, by the way? Okay, I forgot it disappears when you're comboing. Chest. Diamonds in the rough. Deadly delight. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the healing effect is starting to get less and less. But like I uh, mentioned before, previous episode, I like to get rid of all the weaker food before I start using the higher ones. Uh, just personal preference, really. There's no real reason for it. Alright. I think this might be the first screen that the enemy that I'm thinking of appears. No, no, this is this is an enemy. What is that thing? It's hideous. We've come this far together, and you're surprised. <laughs> but it has evil knife hands. Evil, evil knife, knife hands. hands. Be careful, Dust. Oh, be careful, not to do that. All right. Ow. So, this is actually probably the hardest enemy based on actual tactics, but this is not the enemy that I was talking about before. So, you can either keep him going like that. Oh, and he actually hits really hard. And when you block him, he will sometimes still hit you. But you can kill him like that. You you keep him stun locked, or you counter and hope that he doesn't hit you. That is not the enemy, uh, but that is just a sign of things to come of this area. All right, level up. Definitely leveling up, fidget. That is a precursor. All right, let's get up here. Guardians of the chest die. Oh look, plenty of keys. Alright. Now we can see what's in here. Anything go oh, no! 
fogs. Holy crap. They are comboing us. Uh, so yeah, when there's a lot of those guys, they will do that to you. And this is what I meant about my food just disappearing. <laughs> it will do that in this area. And I'm going to have to maybe buy some stronger food. I'm pretty sure we're well stocked now because we have just been using wall chickens the entire freaking game so far. It's a new pendant, but we already... We don't have enough stuff for it. I'm already sure of that. And more armor that we already have better armor for. Uh, Alright, I'm making sure my cursor wasn't too far off screen. I got rid of the program that I used to keep it on the screen because it didn't actually work. I still would go off the screen and click. Uh, so I'm just gonna guesstimate on all my things now. Alright, blue stone we already have. That's cool. I don't think I had that. Which means, yeah, I I, when, in my first playthrough, I didn't go through Archer's Pass. And so I didn't have access to the blacksmith. So, uh... So those guys also do a lot of damage, and they burn you. Which is bad. So like I said, I like to use up all the food. And we will switch to the Kimbap uh, for a while. Alright. Kimbaps heal decently. Definitely gonna have to buy some food. That's probably why we didn't have any money. I haven't bought any food. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So, burning and poison will not actually kill you. It'll just get you really close. And it just doesn't number. So, like I said, difficulty really ramps up here. Um... Uh, I'm needing some food soon. I'm just making stupid mistakes getting hit by the exploders. You should not be getting hit by those. Too easy. It... Still gonna be doing that a lot though, so apologies. Eh, damn it. Alright, so we have a flag here which means crazy old Cora! met outside Aurora, remember? Old Cora, they called me. I think it was crazy, old Cora, <laughs> actually. Shut up, Fidget. Yes, I remember you now. What are you doing all the way out here? These meadows are dangerous. Bah! I've known these meadows since I was young. There's not a creature here that could harm me. I'm sensing some delusions of grandeur here. Also, there's some zombies that could probably hurt you. About this part of the meadow. Almost as if the creatures are avoiding it. If that's the case, then you should be safe if you stay here, Cora. Well, that's impossible, my dear. I'm not here to sightsee. I have a task to complete. She has a task. She has a quest. She's a little old for quests, don't you think? You really shouldn't be wandering around here. What is it you need to do? Maybe I can help. Of course, oh, I will be I able to do it. Dare impose. It's a dangerous path. And you've done so much for Aurora. I'd hate to ask more of you. Doesn't matter. It's all right. I got a freaking sword, lady. A talking sword. What do you expect? I've been told you can help me. Perhaps while we're searching for him, we can find whatever it is you're looking for. Really then? Well, then our goals are aligned, my dear boy. If you do truly wish to speak with the owner of this estate, then you will need to help me. What is it you need? There are four mansions in these meadows. All right, Within four mansions. Mansion is, an item of is one of those Luigi's mansion? To me and my because it would fit in pretty well with this area. Take this green resonance gem, my dear. Woot, another resonance gem. These meadows much quicker than I ever could. Just, I'm still not too comfortable leaving an old lady. She's crazy, and she's okay with this. She'll be fine. But she seems to know what she's doing. Yeah, but do you? Shut up, Aurora? Fidget. Four items, four mansions. I know what I'm doing. Sounds pretty simple. I you know what me. I'm doing. For all our sakes, my boy. I hope you're right. Uh, what's that mean? Why'd you have to say it like that? Because she's old and cryptic. Relax. Wait a minute. Please. Okay, that's just saying that you have stuff to turn in. 
Uh, Alright, so right is the... F yeah, I didn't think that was the first direction. I was about to say it's either right or down. Obviously, it's not up. Because we have no way of getting up right now. Shop. Sweet. I've noticed the waters in the valley have resumed flowing. It would be ignorant of me to believe you didn't have a part in that. Yes, because I'm awesome. And I also do everything the for this land. Did not resume flowing of their own accord. Of that, I am certain. Indeed. Yes, well, we did what needed to be done. We smack Lady Tethys mind. around is basically what Dust is trying to say. There, if you don't mind my asking. A powerful creature who was misled by her own rage. Fortunately, we were able to knock some sense into her. With a giant talking that, sword. This world is grateful. Take care, my friend. Alright. Um, so we actually have a lot of s new stuff here. Uh, just 600. Okay. Uh, 3,500. I'm okay with that. 2,000. Two rings, cool. And since we're here, might as well. All right, and now for food. Um, yeah, we really do just need this much food. I'm not gonna spend all of it just in case. So, this stuff isn't exactly hard to come by, and we don't really need it for a while, but I might as well go ahead and sell it now. Your transaction is most appreciated. And we're ready to head further into the Sorrowing Meadow, and in the next part, we're going to do just that, and we're probably going to come across that enemy that I've been talking about. So, until next time, see you later.